Hey, how's it going? So, I've tried a few mini guitars in my time. Fender has a really good Squire Strat that I like, and the Jazz Mini, uh, Mini Jazz I tried was okay, so. I've demoed the Hofner Shorty, which I really did not like. I've done a video on that. And this is the Traveler Guitar EG1 Custom in Gloss Black. I saw this one listed at Sweetwater and asked if I could check it out. So Sweetwater has sponsored the video and provided this guitar, which I get to keep, which is really awesome. Super thanks to them as always. So supportive. They're a huge supporter. Did you know about their guitar gallery? These are actual photos of this guitar that they took. So you get to see the guitar that you're choosing as long as it's... it's Blah, so like, if I could even talk, that'd be awesome. If it's over a certain price. I think it was $2.99 last time I checked. Okay, so the guitar. It's like a mini Les Paul. I think it looks really cool. The black and gold are nice. I think that works. Let me get all the small little guitar catchphrase jokes out of the way, all right? So let's just get them out of, get them out of my system. It's small. Oops. It's small, but it's huge on tone. Got to keep the mic here. Everyone needs a little guitar in their life don't you don't lose your head over this little gem that's all i got thank you good night headless yeah no headstock what they've done is they've routed everything into the center of the guitar it's pretty neat i've got it sitting here on the on the desk i don't know why i'm not just holding it up it's this little baby I put it to bed earlier and it's woken up again very cool i've never had a guitar sitting on my desk that's why it's really cool it's pretty neat how they you know got it all in there you're gonna see the, the close-ups later anyways so i travel to visit family once in a while and space is often limited on those trips so this is going to be my go-to travel rig by far for sure comes with a great gig bag i've had a lot of gig bags some are junk some offer no protection this one is really good it's one of the good ones and i'm basing that on the materials and uh, what it's made out of it's got good padding and uh, the zippers are good and uh, the front pockets are really good too. That's important. I know that doesn't sound like important, but it is. I've, <laughs> I've had some really crappy gig bags. So let's talk specs. We'll get into playing it and checking it out. It's really cool. Uh, if I don't cover something, I'll have affiliate links in the description of Sweetwater. You can check out their site, take a look at all the specs if I missed anything. That's my demo, thanks. All right, let's go top to bottom. It's got a locking nut. It's a bolt-on neck. 15.75 inch radius, 24 and three quarter scale length, bound walnut fingerboard with perloid block inlays, 21 jumbo frets. I was really surprised to see that. I was expecting 20. They got them all in there though. And uh, it's a solid body mahogany. I mean, it's got the big route in the back, but that's what you gotta do. It's got gloss black finish. The tuners are in there. Closed gear, 14 to one inch, 14 to one ratio, not inch. Pickup is really cool. Duncan Design Devastator Active Alnico Humbucker. It takes two AAA batteries. It's in the back. There's a little access panel. And it's got a built-in tuner on the side. You got adjustable Rollomatic bridge. Uh, you got a master volume, master tone. And the tone, whoops, don't do that. The tone button actually cycles through three options. You got clean, boost, overdrive, distortion. And then on the, the side, you got a headphone out and an aux in. So let's hear it. We'll cycle through the, the built-in effects and we'll check it out. All right, here we go. Let's weigh it up. You know it's gonna be way light, like part of the body's routed out, so. This might actually be the lightest electric guitar I've ever had. Wouldn't be surprised. Four, four pounds, nine ounces, 9.2 ounces, 2.0 kilograms. So that's pretty cool. Now things get a little bit weird. I'm no expert in electronics. I know a little bit, but trying to measure the resistance of the pickup here. It's kind of weird. See what's going on? Because it's active, I think there's something going on. You guys can let me know in the comments. I just couldn't get a reading, and I tried a bunch of things. I actually, at one point, even take the battery out at this point here. I tried it again. Same. It's giving me like a 0 0.5, 0 0.6, and it keeps like changing back and forth. I don't know. Anyways, I gave up and moved along. So here we're going to do some neck measurements. We're going to get the readings 
on this uh, neck measurement measuring tool for measuring necks of guitars. That's all it's for. And I'm going to let you read those. You can take a look. Do one at the first fret. Do one at the fifth fret. This is just the, uh, the width across. People like to know. Some people uh, have big hands. Some people have small hands. Some people have giant, mini, tall. Some people, everybody's different, okay? That's what my point is. People like to know the specs of these things. If I don't do it, somebody's going to complain. They'll be like, you didn't tell me how big the neck was. How am I supposed to know? And now you know. So, no complaining. But there will also be people complaining that I measured the neck. And they'll be like, you didn't do it right. You did it wrong. So, you can't win. And I'm trying to win, you know? Like, that's my point. When I make these videos, I'm trying to win. You can't win. So, moving along. We're going to take uh, a look inside the guitar. Just taking the strings. Just loosening them, you know? Not taking them off. I realize that after a while, you don't actually have to take strings off to get pickups out. Usually, in this case, just one pickup. I'm curious. I'm like, how's this tuner working in here? This is pretty cool. It's got a tuner built in. Four screws. One of them was a little bit tougher to get out. And then the uh, the cabling inside didn't have much give. So I really had to be careful here and just kind of twist it over. And we get in there, though. I just don't pull it out of the out of the body completely. You'll see here. Here we go. And here's what you get. You ready? Did... Uh, did you ever hear of this one? It's a shadow E tuner. Pretty cool. You can see inside there. So it's routed for a humbucker, just in case you couldn't tell from the humbucker sitting in the guitar in the guitar. It's a humbucker route. So there. Putting it back. I really like the uh, the gold and the black on this and all the binding. It's really nice. It's like a, a custom custom Les Paul or something. In the back here, you got your access panel. You already saw the batteries, two AAAs to power the, the uh, humbucker. Here, this is interesting. Never seen this kind of stuff before. A little bit more electronics than I expected, but I don't really know what I expected because it's got the, it's it's like an interface, right? It's got the uh, headphone out, it's got the audio in, and you got your line in, and then it's got the three onboard effects. It's kind of like a pedal built in, essentially, right? Effects pedal. And here's a close up of me just tuning the guitar after getting the strings tightened up. It's a little bit bright here. It's trying to. It's tough to catch the, with the brightness and the contrast. And I'm trying to act like I know what I'm talking about with uh, photography, but I really don't. So, good tuner though. It works well. I'm not sure how long it'll last, but uh, it's good to have. It's really handy. I really like having it. So it's pretty cool. All the tones in the video are being captured with this Princeton Reverb limited edition amp and a Sennheiser E906. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk some more. My, my, uh, my thoughts, pros and cons, right? I think maybe the price might seem high at first, maybe not high, but like higher than other like mini guitars, right? So if it does seem a little high, uh, I'm gonna justify that because you don't need to upgrade anything in this. You could always swap out a pickup if you wanted to, right? You wanna put your favorite humbucker in there 
or whatever, but uh, you don't need to do it. And I know people buy those Hofner shorties and then they mod the crap out of them. But then by the time you've put in all the money, you know, I don't think you're even going to really like it as much as you would this. And it's to do with the neck and the feeling of the, uh, the body. So if you buy another mini guitar, by the time you mod all those things out, you know, this is going to be better. I think that's my opinion because I've tried a few. So that is my opinion. And that's all that matters today in this world. Um, yeah, the main difference to me is how it feels, right? It actually feels like a full-size guitar. It has a lot to do with the body shape. And when you attach a strap to it, it feels normal. It feels normal, and that's the cool thing. Um, the Hofner did not feel normal. It's just, uh, you know, and this thing's so small. So let's talk pros and cons. We'll talk about what I like about it. It's almost perfect. There's a few little things. I always find things, though. Uh, so pros, right? Small footprint and light. There's no neck dive. That's huge. It has good balance. That's part of the no neck dive. Uh, it feels like a regular size guitar, which is weird because it's so small. Uh, the fit and finish on this one is excellent. The frets are smooth. No sharp ends. The built-in tuner is great. The, um, the setup is great. Plays really well. Neck feels awesome. The satin mahogany feels great. Uh, great gig bag. I mentioned that a few times. Tuning is good. It tuned well. I was surprised that uh, I got used to the tuners being in this location down here. It's really weird. Um, so going into cons, I don't like the fourth built-in tone, the uh, distortion. Just didn't do it for me. It just didn't sound good. But don't let that be the, the reason you don't get it. Uh, I'm not sure what this uh, hanger headstock thing, what you're supposed to really do with it. I guess you could put it on a hook. It's got like a tie wrap that you, maybe you can cut off and I don't know. I did mention the tuners being really good. They feel fine, but I can't imagine restringing will be simple. I haven't done it though, so I have I can't I can't really comment on it, but just based on the shape and where everything is, I think it's going to be a challenge. So, but overall, highly recommended. Super recommended. This is the best little mini guitar I've ever ever tried. And uh highly recommended. Said that already. Don't know what I'm saying. Cool. Highly recommended. Did I say that? Did you say that? Hey, what are you doing over there? I will turn this over to you, which means I go like this and I go, here you go, take it. No, I'm saying in the comments, leave your comments about mini guitars, travel guitars. If you've tried traveler guitars, let me know your experiences. I'm curious what people think. Because up until this one, my experience hasn't been awesome, but now it is. So thanks again, Sweetwater, for sponsoring the video. Go check out their site. Check out the affiliate links below if you want to find out. They make a ton of other guitars. Traveler, that is. Traveler Guitars. This is just one of them. They also had another exclusive one that's a bit more expensive. Really nice blue. Maybe I'll put it on screen. Can I do that? Do we have the technology for that? We got that? Thank you. I don't know if that worked. But this was the most appealing to me. Anyways, that's going to do it for today. As always, play guitar and have fun, and we'll see you in the next video. And we'll see you too. You've been a great audience. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. That was great. Oh, we weren't recording. You mother- <laughs>